Hey everybody, this is Kathy from Whole Home and Body Health and I wanted to shoot another quick video today about um, overhead power lines. So I had another video which I'll link to below which looked at high tension overhead power lines. Today I just want to talk to you about just regular neighborhood distribution power lines. So we all have these pretty much in our home. They can either be above ground or below ground. Most of the time when I test these, um, like at a distance from where we're at here, you know, a couple, 10, 20 yards of just regular neighborhood distribution lines, I don't really get much of an issue. I don't get a high magnetic field. But I was testing a home today, and I'm gonna turn on my Gauss meter here to show you what we've got. So I've got about 2.5 milligauss just from the power lines across the street. So this house here would be getting exposed as I walk closer to the house, it goes down, but not by as much as I would hope. And in fact, I'm gonna cross the street here and you can see what happens as we get closer. So I'm going up, going up as we get closer to the power lines. I'm at almost, I almost hit five milligauss, but right now I'm at 3.5, which is quite high. We want that number to be below 0.2 milligauss. So normally, you know, this house has a great, beautiful, nice big front yard. And I would think, well, the power lines being that far from the house, usually not a big deal. So as I'm getting closer to the door, I'm getting about 2.7 milligauss. And that's too much for, for me to recommend. Um, I, I would not want to be living in a home that's got really, I, I don't want to live in a home that's above 0.2 milligauss, but um, as we get you know, up towards one, I'm pretty concerned. So the takeaway message here is always check. Please always check. If you are looking to purchase a home or rent a home or wherever you're moving into, I highly, highly recommend that you use a Gauss meter, you use a radio frequency meter, electric field meter, dirty electricity meter to test before you make a big decision like that. Um, because with something like this with the power lines, there's nothing you can do about it. With radio frequency, dirty electricity, electric fields, you can mitigate those, but uh, milligauss uh, from a magnetic field from overhead power lines, there's you, you can't really solve that. So always test folks, always make sure you know what you're walking into, very, very, very important. And if you want help with that, if you have more questions, just leave a comment below. I'm always happy to help or you can contact me via my website, which I will leave a link to below as well. Okay, thanks everybody, bye.